Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today I'm going to talk to my soul brothers and sisters of the light working realm. And what is our purpose on earth? <clears throat> now, some of you may be well aware of who you are, that you are a light worker and you know your purpose. Many of you watching my channel may not have an idea what a light worker is. You may have read it, um, gotten some kind of weird information from an unknown source in a very peculiar way, telling you that you are a light worker, but you didn't understand and you're still searching for who you are. So as I get started on this topic, I want to begin with recently I met someone who I put an attachment to the meaning of the meeting more than what it needed to be. Um, that is partly because I was in my own ego. So the difference between a light worker and a non light worker would be to become too much in your own ego and even light workers can get in their own egos. So generally we like to be alone. We prefer to live in a realm of magic and prosperity and abundance. Due to that, we rarely have the emotion of lack. However, lack comes especially when we are lacking patience. So impatience is lack. And if you are a light worker, anything you're lacking would be due to the impatience. And that's because we are very four and 5D realm. Some of you I know are even at 8, 8D because not everybody gets us. We are different. We have different purposes in life. So for example, if you're a light worker, you're more four and 5D. If you're an angel, you're more between five and 9D. And if you're an ascending master, you're about eight, 8D. So for angels, they don't really have the same problems we have, even though they're in the human form, it, they just kind of speak it and it is, which is wonderful if you ever get to meet one. Um, who is in human form and they really help you to grow and enhance. So basically what happened was I gave too much meaning to an angel that I had recently met. Um, and I felt rejection, even though there was no rejection, it was totally neutral because that's how an angel is. They're very neutral. Um, and they're really wonderful people. So what the purpose of our meeting was, I needed to be informed that I'm not living my life's purpose. I needed to be informed to stop giving my power away. I needed to be informed, where is my grounding? And even though I'm aware, it was helpful to be informed. And it was helpful because of that particular angel, I am doing my my full-time purpose. I am starting to do my full-time purpose, which is doing these YouTube channels, discussing kind of mama hoo 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 things to the human realm. However, don't, don't take me wrong. Totally I'm human, but the reason I say it like that is because I have to channel into my higher self our spirit is not within us, but it is outside of us. And our spirit, sometimes it enjoys being back home. And that's why you don't always feel at home down here. So if you have yet to realize that you are a light worker or you are even an ascending master, um, angels are rare and hard to find. So, Perhaps you're watching this video now with a little bit of knowledge that you were told you were a light worker, but you have no idea what is a light worker. What does it mean? And my soul sisters this morning, um, 
were so beautiful. Oh my goodness, it was such, such a beautiful conversation we had this morning. And they reminded me, light workers need to be reminded we are not alone. You know, we feel alone sometimes. And when it comes to rejection, we can say that's their shit, not ours, or whatever the case is, but um, that is a human program. That's the reality. Rejection is a human program. And we are human and we need to reprogram. We need to reprogram the avatar. So, the subconscious mind is your body. Your body has muscle mass. That muscle mass holds the memories of trauma or programs. You can reprogram the body. And this is very important. You need to reprogram it. If you had an option to pick up a disc, put it in your brain and reprogram your whole body to master Italian, for example, and then you take the disc out and for the rest of your life, you have mastered Italian. That's what we're talking about here. The body is the subconscious mind. The mind is the conscious mind. And it is from the mind we have the crown chakra which reaches to our higher self. And our higher self is our truth. You need to reach your truth. So what is rejection, so to speak? It is a way for the source energy to protect us. Not everything we give a title to has the meaning we're giving it. Let's rephrase the meaning. So my angel came to me and told me, live your life's purpose. He came to me to tell me, step into your power and stop giving it away to others. And in this, he empowered me. Remember, it's all about the meaning you're giving the story. Because I could say, oh, I was wronged, played, whatever. But it's not true. And I know it's not true. I know what is true. And that time has lived its, its course. The purpose of meeting has lived its course. And in potentially meeting again, there would be another course. If it doesn't happen again, then time has went. The real issue here is as a light worker, eventually you're going to start having the memories of your past lives. Even you might have little knockings on the door, like my best friend for the last 30 years. He knows he's a light worker, doesn't know how to channel it. He hears the knock, knock, knock and say, oh, you know, that you had a past life. And he's like, oh, no, I didn't because it's all about the meaning he's giving himself. And he has limiting beliefs because he surrounds himself by other people with limiting beliefs. And then it's shame because I was being shamed. Why are you using the tarot? Well, I only have to answer myself because I no longer live in the realm of what everyone else thinks. I live in what do I think about me and if I live in what do I think about me then I know what everybody else thinks about me because it's all what I think about me we are the magnet of our own reality so when we view <clears throat> another person's perspective or perception we can put it in to our hearts and then we may feel negatively about ourselves. Or we can put up our walls and we can say, or our boundaries, sorry, and we can say, that is your reflection of yourself, but that is not my reflection of me because I know who I am. I no longer question who I am. I know what I am. I no longer question what I am. So for my friends who are light workers, and they're in the know and they're in the now. Remember, each and every moment we must try our best to live in the present. That is a program you must master in this avatar or the, um, what is it, subconscious mind. <laughs> and mastery of being present is 
where magic happens. We don't go to future unless we are remembering the future we desire and let it go. And we don't go to past traumas. Traumas were simply the dramas of humanity to help us enhance our own beliefs. I hope you all have a beautiful day.